The following is a very brief demonstration of how to manage elastic alfresco based clusters on Amazon EC2 using RightScale. An alfresco cluster requires a load balancer that will distribute the load across one or more alfresco servers. These in turn will use a shared content store, in this case an NFS server, that will uh, store the files while a shared database, in this case MySQL, will be used for metadata. This is the right skill management console. In it, I see a representation of my deployment. In this case, the deployment includes a load balancer, one Alfresco server, a MySQL master database server, and an NFS master server. This console also gives me an at-a-glance view of my environment, including a status report that shows me that my servers are up and running and what IP addresses they're accessible from. To support elastic deployments, that is the ability to add or remove servers depending on performance metrics or on demand, RightScale offers the concept of an array. In this case, we have an array that is configured to allow us to add 0 to 3 servers. While well, we can configure RightScale to launch additional Fresco servers when certain thresholds are met in terms of performance, in this case we will manually launch a server by clicking the Launch button. As the new server is launching, an activity status will appear on the left-hand column of the RightScale console, letting us know how things are progressing. While the second server is starting, let's go ahead and access the original server that was already running. To do this, I copy and paste the public IP address and we see that we have a working Alfresco installation. Let's now return to the RightScale console and see what the status is. By clicking on the status report, we can see how things are progressing. A RightScale server template is comprised of a variety of different scripts that perform different tasks, such as configure and install Tomcat, configure and install Alfresco, obtain some configuration files related to Alfresco, and eventually register this Alfresco server with the load balancer. The activity status report shows us that this Alfresco server is now operational. So let's access this server and confirm that it's running properly. Note that the Arrays section of the console shows us that one server is operational. Let's click on that link. Now we can drill in and obtain additional details on this particular server. I'm going to take the public DNS name and paste it into the browser, which confirms that Alfresco is properly running. We have now added a second server to our deployment. Let's confirm that the load balancer is properly balancing the load amongst these two servers. To do this, I will paste in the public IP address or DNS name of the load balancer and view a report. Notice that it has two entries. These are our two Alfresco servers. Let's now shut down this second server and confirm that it gets removed from the load balancing pool. To do this, I access the operational server and click on the Terminate All link. I confirm. And now the process of decommissioning the server will commence. One of the first things that happens is that the server will be removed from the load balancing pool. So let's return to the load balancer console and confirm that the server has been removed. This happens very quickly and we see that we only have one server installed now. We hope this brief overview has been educational and we invite you to ask additional questions by emailing cloud at alfresco.com.